Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Before we get into your reading Capricorn, I want to give you guys a very quick update. On Friday, May 21st, we're going to be releasing our Pendulum gift set. Um, and what that is, you guys can see here, we have ritualized through ceremonial magic and consecrated Pendulum specifically to connect with your spirit guides or your ancestors. It comes with crystals and some herbs that will keep um, unwanted spirits away when communicating or contacting, as well as with a vial for protection. Uh, some are for protection, others are for uh, to clear your energy to be able to be on the receptive, meaning to be able to channel the messages that are coming through, through the pendulum. Others will come with a necklace and others will come with a ring. So um if you're interested in any of this then definitely go to our online store and check that out i do want to mention that there was only a limited amount we um prepared 50 of them those are the ones that are going to be released so again first come first serve um you guys know i like to do everything very personal i ritualize and consecrate all my ingredients everything that i do um i put the intention of what it will be used for so that's the reason why we only did 50 so if you're interested definitely check that out friday may 21st we have tons of new things coming i will keep you guys updated um, as we progress or get closer to those dates okay all right my lovelies let's get into your reading capricorn let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of may 2021 in regards to love and romance Spirit guides, archangels, ancestors, please step forward. Give us a clear indication. Allow me to open up as a vessel of communication to be able to communicate to all my Capricorns what is unfolding before them in regards to love and romance. Paint a vivid picture to us to be able to interpret. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Capricorns, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Love and romance. Oh, okay. By the way, if you guys have watched my other videos, yes, we got our nails done. You guys, I had not had any time whatsoever for myself. I had to get my nail tech to uh, basically <laughs> rush me into their booking because it's just been crazy. But anyways, Capricorn, we're starting off with the four of pentacles, a bit reserved, a bit protecting yourself from an energy of a fire energy. For some of you guys, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see you guys really deliberating, trying to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do and how to move forward. Uh, you may be dealing, like I said, with the fire energy. I feel that you're protecting your energy or your space from this person at the present time. You're very much in your head. We have the eight of swords here. So you may be dealing with air, fire, earth as well. Um, very much in your head. And... For some of you guys, what they're telling you here is understand that although you may feel like you're not in control of the situation, you are in control of the way you react to it. So if you feel like you're experiencing a lot of restless nights, overthinking, overanalyzing, get yourself out of your own way, Capricorn. Pull away, detach yourself uh, from over obsessing about this situation put your energy and effort and focus towards other things i feel that for a lot of you guys you may be experiencing almost like feel the feeling of like the clock is ticking and you're trying to make things rush and what spirit is showing you right now is that you need to be patient your next card here is the queen of wands seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay so off the bat, we have the queen and king of the same suit. So you're definitely dealing with some type of either soul connection, karmic connection, or a soulmate. Um, and I feel that for some of you guys, this could be something recent. In the past, I want to say in the past five months, uh, you could have been dealing with like I said, it could be a fire, it could be uh, air energy, fire, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries, air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, you may be dealing with an, another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. However, 
what they're showing me here is that you're very much in your head about this situation because there is a bit of lack of confidence, trust in yourself, or you find yourself often questioning or wondering your worth, Capricorn. Now, I feel that when this person doesn't necessarily put the effort or put energy to towards trying to figure out where you guys are at right now, it's like you completely shut down. With the Four of Swords, it, uh, sorry, the Four of uh, Pentacles, it's like, all right, you're not going to put the effort. I'm not going to put the effort either. Like, you got to earn me. Um, and this could be prospectively a defensive mechanism that you're doing. It's like you completely shut down. You show disinterest. Um, and it's, it's like you convince yourself that you're doing this because you know your worth, but deep down you're wondering or questioning your self-worth. With the Queen of Wands, there is a feeling of lack. I feel that very heavily, like it's, 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 you're, it's either you or them. I feel more towards them. Like this is a person that is a straight shooter. And I feel that at some point they felt some type of rejection or they felt some type of like, I would never be able to attain this Capricorn or this Capricorn definitely wouldn't be interested in me. So they could have entertained the past or they may be entertaining the past. Someone from their past that they just are not ready to either let them go or the other person's not ready to let them go in their kind of trying to weasel their life back into their life, the person that you're dealing with. But what they're showing me here with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, you've been through so much Capricorn. You have experienced the good and the bad in relationships, uh, learned your lessons. At this point, you know exactly who it is that you are. Stop doubting yourself based off of how others treat you. So, if you feel like the person that you're dealing with right now is disconnected or they've lost their interest, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has anything to do with you. Some people are just fucking confused. Other people just don't know what, the want, what it is that they want. So what they're telling you here is you've been through all of these experiences and obviously you're Capricorn, you're ruled by Saturn. Your experiences in life, period, have been difficult because you were built for this shit. So what they're telling you here is don't sit there and question your self-worth or question, um, you know, are they going to pick me? Are they going to choose me? Are they going to put the effort in me? Or is it just something passive and you just take it for what it is? Like, no, stay in your power, Capricorn. Know your worth. And... Also, side note, stop trying to save people. So if you're dealing with the person that is dealing with any type of toxic traits, whether it be, you know, alcoholism, whether it's that they need healing, whatever it is, whatever their cir circumstance is, don't sit there and try to baby them, not baby them, because I know Capricorns don't do that, but don't try to mother them, okay, or father them. You know, I'm going to be here, I'm your emotional support da 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 and be their cheerleader if they haven't done the same for you so what they're telling you is be mindful about your energy and the energy you invest in those that you feel like need your help it's fine to do that but when it comes to love and romance you have to learn the balance why because then that's when they start to take advantage that's when they start to feel like oh i can go to capricorn to vent my problems but when life is great i'm over here entertaining other people do you see what i'm saying so it's like know your worth know your power and anyone that's not reciprocating that you do not have to beg or prove your worthiness to no fucking body all right now, the person of your interest or the person you're dealing, we have the King of Wands. So we have two Kings of Wands here. Definitely fire energy for some of you guys. The next card here is the Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're definitely in their feelings. Um, I, feel, I feel like they're not ready for your energy, Capricorn. I feel like they know your worth. 
they know what you bring to the table and it's something in them is almost like a feeling of like they feel that at 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 some point you will be either disappointed or you will feel like they're not worth your time so i feel that they are kind of pulling back because they also lack some type of self-confidence and this could be the most confident person you've ever met in your life that you think they are but deep down there is a feeling of feeling that there's lack like they are unworthy to be with you now four of pentacles does represent stability in some aspect but i feel that to them it's like they are protecting themselves because they've been through stuff in the past where Maybe they were judged. Maybe they were critiqued. Maybe whatever the situation was, it's almost like they don't want to repeat the same cycle. And they may feel like they have to be guarded because your expectation, expectations are so high. We have the Knight of Swords here, the King of Cups, and the Emperor card. So we have, very, we have three um, energies here. So... They're wanting to revisit the past, meaning they're wanting to reconnect with you or communicate with you, uh, put some type of effort um, because they keep reminiscing about the opportunity that could have been missed. With the Knight of Swords, they are definitely going to be communicating. If you haven't heard from them, they will be communicating with you. They're going to be much more open here. Um, or emotionally available with the King of Cups. I feel that this is an energy. So whereas in the past they were, you know, straightforward, perhaps a little bit blunt, um, they're coming back around or the communication that's going to come through is coming from a loving place, a bit of vulnerability. We have the emperor card here too. So I feel that this person is either acknowledging or understanding that you have options, Capricorn. Um, the emperor card can also represent almost the feeling of, okay, I have to reach out um, because I can't stop thinking of Capricorn. Uh, is it feelings? Is it not? I'm not sure, but I don't want them to move on. Um, so let me just, you know, the emperor energy. Uh, let me just move forward and execute the communication that needs to happen. Um, and see if Capricorn is going to reciprocate. So I do see them wanting to communicate or wanting to contact you. The past coming back around. If there was some type of separation or some type of miscommunication, they're going to be communicating a little bit mu much more. Um, but I, I can honestly say that I feel that for some of you guys, um, this person's motivation is either because they're going to be hearing or seen, this could be social media as well, or talking to their friends or someone that brings Capricorn up and tells them that either you're moving on or that you've been talking to someone or that you're doing amazing. And it's like, oh, I can't miss this opportunity. I can't fuck it up again. I see them wanting to fix it or put some type of effort into this. Again, Capricorn, the message here for you is know your worth and set boundaries. Because I feel deep down this is a strong connection, which is why they told me from the very beginning it could be a soul connection because there's some type of soul tie here. So it could be that they're still working through certain aspects of them as well as you. And, and it can feel almost like this connection is just really difficult that you're out of, you may get to a point to feel like this is too much fucking work. Like, but you can't help to acknowledge that the connection is very strong. Um, it's just that you need to work through some shit and they need to work through some things. But I do see them wanting to put effort. So again, expect quick changes uh, in the coming days. Okay. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. We'll see each other soon. Bye.